Hi everybody, welcome to Cloud Mom. This is a show for breastfeeding moms. How do I store and defrost the breast milk that I pump? This stuff is like liquid gold and many of us have actually cried over spilt milk. So you wanna be very careful in terms of how you handle your milk. And the great thing about breast milk is that you can store it in the refrigerator or in the freezer. So now we're gonna walk through the guidelines of how long you can store your milk for and how you're gonna defrost it when you're ready to give it to your baby. Okay, here are some guidelines according to the AAP. If you've placed your milk in the refrigerator, you have up to four days to use it. After that, you need to discard it. If it's gonna be longer, it might be a better idea to freeze it. If the milk has been left out at room temperature, you have between four to eight hours to give that milk to your baby. Again, to be on the safe side, I would slant toward the four hours. Keep this in mind when you're traveling or when you're out for the day with your baby because it might be better to have your milk on an ice pack, such as the ice pack that comes with the container that you get when you might buy your pump. Then take your milk off the ice pack an hour or so before you plan to give it to your baby so that her milk is at room temperature. In terms of freezing at the beginning, depending on how much your baby is drinking, you might want to be freezing bags of milk in quantities of four ounces or six ounces. It might also be good to have some bags with smaller bits of milk, like two ounces, so that you don't waste any when you defrost it and when you give it to your baby. If you pump and you have enough to store either four or six ounces, freeze that milk right away. The best thing to do is to freeze milk when it is nice and fresh. When milk is frozen fresh like this, it can be good for one month in the freezer or for three to six months if stored in a deep freezer at zero degrees Fahrenheit. If you can, try to anticipate when you will be giving your baby a bottle. Because the best thing to do is to take the bag of frozen breast milk out of the freezer several hours before or that morning to give it time to defrost. You also can take the breast milk, the frozen breast milk, out of the freezer the night before and move it to the refrigerator so that you have it there when you need it the next day. Frozen breast milk, which has been thawed in the refrigerator, must be used within 24 hours, after which point you must throw it away. What you don't wanna do is put the bag of frozen breast milk in hot water or in the microwave. Now, in terms of freezing, you can safely freeze your breast milk in two ways. You can use actually glass bottles or you can use safe plastic bottles. You can also use these really handy bags and the bags are great because they indicate what amount is involved. And here's a Medela bag, here's a Lantano. The Lantano is for a bigger quantity of milk. Now, what I do when I'm using these bags is I actually kind of cradle them in my hand and first I actually wash my hands very carefully in very hot water with uh, very good soap. And then I dry my hands on a towel, make sure I don't have residue of paper towel. Then I take the bag and I open it like this. Like this, using my fingers. And then I just sort of hold the bag like this. I cradle it in this open position. I take my milk and I gently pour my milk into the bag, very carefully. <laughs> trying not to spill. I have spilled before and I have cried before over this. There you go. Then I close my bag. In terms of writing the date, I think the best thing is to use a Sharpie, an indelible marker, or a big pen. Because the last thing you wanna do is have all these bags of frozen breast milk go into your freezer and see that you're not able to distinguish when you actually froze the milk. Now, one other tip. If you have a substantial amount of milk, organize it in your freezer so that you're using the oldest milk first. So put the oldest milk in the most prominent and easy place so that as you go along, you're taking that oldest milk March 1st, March 2nd, March 3rd, and that you're not using the more recent milk so that you're able to give your baby breast milk for a longer period of time. So I hope that these tips will help you out and good luck with getting breast milk to your baby.